Bill Barr is going to speak now, and uh, he has been very active in New York trying to uh, get this legislation passed, and uh, yeah. is going to have some personal reflections. Hi, my name is Joe Burns. I wear two hats. I am chair of Boys and Faithful in Brooklyn, uh, Park Slope and Flatbush. I'm also a co-chair of SNAP here in New York City. Recently came out. Um, I was sexually abused at a Lady of Ethical Help Church in Bay Ridge um, by a ridiculous priest. I decided not to go on with that. I would rather stress a few other items. First part is the lawsuit. Uh, there was a lawsuit filed in uh, New York State courts uh, involving 27 priests, the numbers may be wrong, uh, against 27 priests by about 24 victims. The uh, case was thrown out of the court as statute of limitations for the last four or five years. Finally, about a year ago, Justice Taylor asked to see the case again. She also said statute of limitations, but she made a very strong statement. She said the legislature must deal with this problem and do it. They have to do it and make a commitment. Uh, so the main thing is that we now have to assume a legislative assault. And rather than go into that in much detail, is to contact all the different places, uh, groups that uh, Matt Connolly had gotten involved in in, um, uh, in Delaware. One of them in particular I got involved with, is, which is called Mount Sinai Savvy. Mount Sinai Sexual Assault and Violence Intervention Program. There's a whole series of those in New York State, especially in New York City. They represent about 10 hospitals, and they're involved with uh, uh, people who come in from uh, ambulance as, as victims of sexual assault, as well as trafficking, human trafficking in the city. Uh, there are others, as I mentioned, like that. Um, as far as the legislative assault, when we went up there, I used to zero in on some of the powerful people. One was uh, State Senator Patterson, who was the minority leader, who is now the lieutenant governor. I met with his staff. They made a major commitment to deal with this problem. And as he said, we have to deal with this, whether the abuse is in the schools, in the streets, or the houses of worship. Uh, after this, uh, Mr. Spitzer and uh, Patterson uh, had a campaign stop, also in Brooklyn, at St. Francis College, mind you, a Catholic place. And at that, they made a commitment to work with the survivors. Not necessarily, they were not referring to sex abuse by clergy. <clears throat> They made a commitment called starting over, helping the victims get their life back by connection with um, support groups, housing, lawyers, and so on. Uh, <clears throat> so they both, and both of them have also, the governor as well as the lieutenant governor, seem to be leaning towards us. So a little bit later, we're going to have a, uh, a meeting in which uh, BOTF and SNAP will be planning this legislative assault. One final thing which has to do with a specific victim. <coughs> uh, the co-chair of SNAP in New York City is Greg Valvo. He made a statement about his abuse, which uh, took place St. Uh, Thomas Aquinas in Flatlands, Brooklyn. Uh, a series of old boys used to be taken uh, by his car uh, out to Pennsylvania to the family house. There they were sexually abused over the course of years. He then he he and his parents went down to the diocese continually, nothing was done. The diocese took care of it by moving the priest to Bay Ridge, then to Park Sales, then to Rothaway. Okay? But anyway, the thing about Greg Valvo and Father Mauer, who is his abuser, I I checked with the Yablupa, which is the diocesan book of where priests are. And in it, it showed a whole series of being transferred from church to church. And as late 
as 2006. This priest was named pastor of St. Stanislaus in Maspeth, Queens. <clears throat> I checked and I found out uh, last year that he's finally retired. What is that great East Broadway in Long Beach, Long Island, where the Nabok is paid for by the Diocese of Brooklyn? Probably coming out of our Bishop's Appeal <laughs> bones. Um, so that's uh, kind of, I uh, hope I'm not taking too much of your time. But anyway, the assault has to start because of some of these reasons that I mentioned. Thank you for your time.